After a massive bidding battle between networks and streamers, 50 Cent has found a buyer for his documentary series about Diddy. The multi-part documentary regarding the alleged sexual assault and sex trafficking of the Bad Boy Boys has found a home at Netflix, following months of building anticipation for the show, a competitive bidding process was held for the documentary, which is being produced by G-Unit Film and Television Studios, according to TMZ, which recently published their own documentary on the troubled entrepreneur on Tubi. Previously, it was unknown if the documentary was genuine or just a ploy by 50 to make fun of Diddy. This was because no information about the series, including its director, had been disclosed. In addition to commenting on the news, 50 took aim at TMZ for using the wrong picture of him for their article. TMZ used this picture of me as a fat boy because their doctor went to Tubi. It's okay, guys, we're all producing great TV, mine just so happens to be the best. He posted something on Instagram. Netflix prevails in the bidding war, but I'll need more episodes if more victims come forward. After TMZ updated the image in their report, he later shared an update. Okay, TMZ put up a 2024 photo, sweetheart, let's work. LOL. Following a lawsuit filed by a different woman against Diddy for allegedly drugging and sexually abusing her more than 20 years ago, Netflix announced that it had acquired the documentary at a 2003 fashion event. Crystal McKinney, a woman, claims to have encountered Puffy, real name Sean Combs, who allegedly made a very public display of coming on to her in a sexually suggestive manner. The No Way Out hitmaker and McKinney, who was 22 at the time, smoked marijuana together, but McKinney thinks the joint was laced, which made her very intoxicated.